In today's video, I'm installing electric steering and finalizing the steering system on my mower, so stay tuned. So guys, I purchased a universal electric steering kit, and I would like to fit this in this mower and make it work. We will not be able to mount it up here. There's just not enough space. This thing is just going to hit the primary clutch. It's going to be in the way of the engine. So the best place to put this would pretty much be underneath the engine, out of the way of the drive shaft. So this tube is in the way of the gearbox, so I'm going to have to cut it off. So here's the plate that came with the electronic steering. Gotta go ahead and cut it up. And this is what I am left. We got like one millimeter of metal that needs to be cut out. Wow guys, this thing does not want to go. Let's see if we can, I think we could just eventually wiggle it out. Woo! Dang, it comes out. All right, I am back at my friends and I just turned down this steering shaft and that's just gonna slide right in there. I've, uh, so I've tapered the shaft and this is just gonna slide on there, bolt on and then be welded. It doesn't really have to be removable. Now I need to make a piece that's exactly like this. All right, so I got my steering shaft machined. So this is just gonna plug up right there. Yes, that is a chain. Someone actually suggested in the comments and uh, we're about to tack this in and see if it actually is gonna work. Ideally, this bearing should be removable. Man, I wish I had three hands. So the goal of the chain is to minimize the amount of steering U-joints I'd have to run. With this setup, I'm only looking at three U-joints. Whereas with the previous setup, it was like five U-joints. All those U-joints are gonna be really hard to mount properly, and it's gonna be a lot of play. So I think this is a much simpler idea. Wow. Check that out. So the way I have it configured now, it's very hard to steer. 
this is too much at a downward angle so i need to go ahead and make a new one of these and bring it up higher and then uh, make this mount go lower and hopefully our steering should be right because if you look at it from this angle you can see we we have a lot of flex still in our steering components so yeah So here I'm notching one of the fins in my front diff just so that I can mount the steering shaft as low as possible. Okay guys, moment of truth, is this thing going to be steerable? Wow. Okay, we're limited a little bit right there. So hold up, let me fix that. Early the next morning. It is a little bit hard. That is going to be fine. Once we plug up our electric motor, it's going to be so much easier to steer. Um, right now, there's still a little bit of flex in the system. So I'll also have to brace up the steering rack. And obviously, we can adjust it for more angle. Now, guys, I'm going to be honest. I have been kind of procrastinating on this build a little bit just because I'm in the market for a plasma table and a single phase lathe. Uh, to make my life a whole lot easier so I don't have to run back and forth between machine shops and my friend's place. Um, I want to go ahead and get that set up. So if you're a company that specializes in either one of those or know a guy, please hit up my email down below. But uh, yeah, one thing I want to start doing is mounting up the radiator. It's going to be here in the front. This is pretty much the biggest radiator I can run. Um, this spigot right here is kind of angled the wrong way. It's angled down and to that side, which we need to go ahead and redirect it up that way. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off and re-weld it. Well guys, it's going to be a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed. The steering was definitely a challenging and tedious process. Pretty much have to engineer everything from scratch and go back and forth to the machine shots because I don't have a lathe. So it is a very time consuming process and that's why I have to kind of cut this video short. It just took way too much time. Hope you guys can understand. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'm making it one of my goals to upload more consistently this year at least once every week and bring you guys quality content I gotta go ahead and end this video off with the teaser we got a full billet aluminum reverse box I'll be talking more about this gearbox in the next video so stay tuned and peace